Hi, Erwan from Motion VFX. This tutorial is fully dedicated to M Title Film for DaVinci Resolve. M Title Film is a pack of titles inspired by various movies and TV shows. Once you have installed the pack, you will have access to the 60 titles in the FX tab. Click on Toolbox, Titles, and in the Motion VFX folder, you will find M Title Film with the 60 titles. You can preview each title by skimming the cursor over the thumbnail, and you can mark any titles as favorites by clicking on the star on the right. Each title has its own style, in and out animations and effects, which can match with your various projects. To add a title to your project, you just have to drag and drop it inside the timeline. You can retime the title by trimming the title to slow it down or to speed it up. One important note, to keep the in and out animations, your title should have at least a duration of 5 seconds. You can configure the durations of the titles in the user's preferences of DaVinci Resolve. To open it, I will press Command plus Comma. In the editing section, set the standard generator durations to 5 seconds or more and click on Save. If you need a duration below 5 seconds, select the title and do a right click to create a compound clip. With a compound clip, you will be able to increase the speed of the titles and keep both animations. To customize the title, open the inspector on the top right. First, for each title, you will be able to switch on or off the in and out animations. Below, with the content controls, you will have access to the position, the size, the rotation, and the zoom values. You can modify the position value directly with the parameter X and Y but you can also modify the position directly inside the viewer by activating the Fusion Overlay option. To reset any parameter, you just have to double-click on the parameter name. With the text controls, you will have access to the typography parameters, so you can edit the text and modify any text parameters. On this specific title, you will be able to color correct the texture in order to customize the global look. You will have access to many parameters like the lift, gamma, gain, brightness, saturations, and many more. Let's add a new title. I will drag the title 24 to the timeline. This title has various effects. I will get the full height of the interface for the inspector by clicking here. I will edit the text. With this title, there are two texts, the header and the main title. I can edit both and modify the position of the header. I will increase a little bit the size also. This title has specific effects, like displacement, that you can switch on or off. You can adjust the strength. You can also disable the scanline effect. Next, I will drag the title 54. On this one, you have some advanced color controls, as there are two colors animated. You can edit the two colors, but also modify some animation parameters like the speed, the color contrast, and details. Of course, you can edit the text, but here you can modify the lines with a complete set of parameters for the thickness, the position, and the length. You can go further with some titles like the title 32, As you can see, there is a silhouette inside the letter. In fact, this letter is not a typography, but a picture with an alpha channel. I can disable the mask and see the silhouette. It is possible to modify the scale or the rotation independently. But the beauty of this title is the fact that you can add your own logo, and you will be able to integrate it perfectly inside the title. For example, I will replace this logo by a new one. I will need to reduce the size of the logo to fit inside the circle, like this. This logo represents the horizon. I will type horizon without the first O. And I will adjust the position of the text and of the logo to build my title. I will switch the global color to a light orange. I will decrease just a little bit the size of the title and readjust the position and we have a new title animation with our logo. One last tip. I will add a background video element. I 
I will compose the title 47 over 8. All the titles have transparency, so it is really easy to compose it. But in some cases, like here, the background is a little too bright, so the title is not so much readable. First, I will edit the text and type Spirit Hunter. And to get my title more readable, I will select the video clip. And in the inspector, I will adjust the opacity parameter. So with this technique, you don't need to go to the color page to adjust the luminance value. I will adjust the size of the video to fill the screen. I will also remove some blue on the title with the color controls. And we are good. This tutorial shows you just a glimpse of what it's really possible in terms of customization. And with 60 titles, there are many possibilities. If you have some ideas concerning some features you would like to see inside M-Title Film, don't hesitate to send us your feedback. We will do the best to integrate them in the future update of the pack. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Ciao ciao. Bye bye.